but they've struggled defensively, given up 81 points to opponents. The one place they win is on the boards as Sissoku, long three, it's good. Smith gives it up to Powell. She has it right wing, throw inside, and a layup. That's good with the roll. Clark Sconiers on the board for Minnesota. In order for Iowa to win, they have to limit their turnovers and score and get up and run. They got to play their style of ball as the and one. It's the same pronunciation as the Italian name Scalia. It's pronounced Scalia. Clark inside and the foul. Tough drive. Lexi Civilians played a lot of minutes, the sixth most for Iowa. She hasn't produced a ton as Clark with a long triple is good to tie the game at 14. At least flashes of it. Kick out, Martin, three ball. Knocks it down, Kate Martin the triple. Minnesota leads by four. Mershon gives up the three to Powell, and it's good. Extra passes. Timeout, Lisa Blute are not happy with their defense as right now the threes are flying for Minnesota. Loose ball on the floor. Powell picks it up. It's one on two the other way. Now against Jensen, lays it up. It's good. Over the last eight or so minutes of game action, Powell, the three, it's good. Splashes it down as Bluter looks to her bench and says, who's going to guard? Six of 11 from three as Minnesota up by 16. Clark inside, steps through, and gets to the friendly roll. But Minnesota now has scored no field goals. Their only points have come from the foul line in the last three minutes. And Iowa needs to take advantage as they do with a layup on the left side from Sharon Goodman. 3.20 to go. Iowa down by 16. Here's Meyer. Hucks the three. Rattles it home. Big shot. The lead's back to its largest at 16. Sanana. Jensen. Three ball. It's good. Clark goes now with eight. Down to five on the shot clock, around the screen, inside, through traffic, throws it up, it's good. Problem is, Lisa Bluter's teams don't go down without a fight, should be a good second half. Here's Meyer, the triple, and rattles home. She'll go the other way. No numbers, but still takes it inside through traffic, it's deflected, tracks it down, thought about the flip, instead the corner three, and it's good. Martin down low on the block that wanted the foul called. Just going for that rebound and got tangled up, no call. Mershon takes the three after a hesitation, knocks it down. That's hard to do. Foul, four on three the other way. Sissoko inside, no good on the layup. Luke's ball, it's grabbed by Sinana. Clark to Marshall, just Mershon back, and the layup is good. There's our second one, no good, but Martin on the offensive glass comes down with the board in Iowa. Chance to spark something. Clark, the three, it's good. Caitlin Clark cuts the Minnesota lead to one. Four points, two boards, but transfer from Cornell's got a really strong post presence as again, Caitlin Clark knocks one down and the game is tied. It's up to Clark who has no problem running. An attacking guard in the paint, kicks over. Sonano, 13 footer is good, that's a good pass. One minute to go in this third quarter as Iowa leads by four. Inside, it's Warnock. Kick out. Clark takes the three. It's good again. Caitlin Clark. 15 seconds to go in the final quarter before Scalia knocked down that lethal triple. Meyer, entry feed. Sinano, little turnaround. It's good in the foul. Bagwell Katalinich. Feed, it's poked away. Here comes Meyer, three on two the other way. Dish to Warnock, running the floor, the layup's good. <laughs> Iowa, a 14 point lead. It's what happened at the end of last year and it saw a team slip under, or slip into near 500 as Powell, a good bucket. Three minutes left to go as Clark slices through every defender, gets to the other side and a layup for her 35th point of the night. It's really been it, honestly. Gotten six from Mershon as well as Clark gets a friendly roll on the pull-up jumper for 37. They cruise to a victory after sputtering big time in the second half. You can put it in the board officially. 92-79, your final score.